Okay guys, so the purpose of this video is just to give you some overall market advice if you've got a tenancy that's expiring August now, we've just moved into June, so it'll be August expiries or we'll be starting to negotiate. This is still applicable if you're um, in negotiations for June, July, August expiries and even September. Um, so the overall advice is as follows. The market pre-lockdown, we saw increases of rent of five to seven percent. We were pushing quite heavily. Of course, now since lockdown, there's been a lot of supply that's come into the market and it's effectively negated the gain that we did have in the first quarter, January to March. So as we now sit here in June, the, the, the market picture is that there's a lot of supply, but there's also a lot more demand. It's too early to say post lockdown if there's been a movement on pricing. But what I can say is that the increase has been negated because there are a lot of um, reductions in the marketplace. The reason why I say it's too early to say if that's true value or not is because a lot of the reductions have been forced by landlords that were unlucky with their timing and they've been empty since March. So, you know, they've had two to three months void to contend with. So they've kind of been pricing to the bottom just to attract the tenant. So tenants, of course, naturally are looking out on the market and they're seeing a lot of lower rents, but that isn't necessarily a fair reflection of where the market is. It's a bit of a sort of a micro bubble because, as I said, there are a lot of sort of desperate landlords effectively that have had to price wildly low. But what I'm seeing on a transactional level is that most renewals, hence this video is, is for you if you're discussing an extension, should remain the same. Pushing for increases are typically not possible at the moment, but also you shouldn't have to accept a decrease, even if there is the odd comparable out in the market that is lower. That doesn't mean the market's down. It just means that there are some landlords that are pricing low because they've been empty for three or four months. So it's um, it's too early to say if there's been a movement in price. My firm belief, what I'm seeing at new transaction level, is that we're getting very close to current rent. So you know, 2019 rent. So my overall advice to anybody looking to renew would be fix at the same rent if possible, look after the tenant, reward their loyalty. If they push on you for a lower amount, I would say no, I would risk and go to market personally. Um, but then, you know, at the same time, you know, don't push for an increase because it probably is not there. As a, as a prerequisite for any negotiation at the moment, you do not want to become unavailable in the winter cycle this year, particularly. We think it might fall off a little bit towards the end of the year. So my advice is renew and try and fix until at least January, February next year. If you can get a fix for 12 months into next summer, that would be the ideal. So summary, fix for 12 months, same rent, you, that'll be a good deal for you as a landlord. And if there's any negotiation um, around that, that the, the, the first thing I would avoid doing is giving yourself any vulnerability for a winter exposure. So no break clause at four months, no rolling contracts. Um, and even if you have to reduce the rent slightly to get a fix, I would, I would advise you do that as opposed to keeping the rent or pushing the rent, but letting it roll because it's going to leave you so vulnerable in that winter cycle. So I hope that's useful. If you like any information on it directly, feel free to let me know. As a small caveat on the sales market, we've seen a lot of demand come back into the market. We feel that that might peak over the next couple of months and then tail off through the rest of the calendar year. So if you want to sell, now's probably the time to test the market and try and secure a buyer. Um, and if that doesn't work for you time-wise, I would look at spring 2021, um, summer 2021. So hope you found that useful. Anything you need, do let me know.